I grew up in a small town in northern Michigan. I spent my days in the woods, climbing trees and swimming in the nearby river. From a very young age, I was obsessed with the pursuit of strength. I excelled in many sports, baseball, football, and wrestling. After high school, I joined the Marines and was eventually selected for presidential security, where I served at Camp David under President Clinton. After leaving the Marines, I started competing seriously in powerlifting. Over the course of the next decade, I worked my way from the local level, to the national level, to the world level, and eventually broke the all-time world record. I squatted 1,003 pounds, bench pressed 738, and deadlifted 810 pounds to post a 2,551 pound total. This was the highest total ever achieved by anyone in the 220 pound class. I was on the cover of magazines, spent hours at expos signing autographs and taking pics with fans. I was arguably one of the most popular athletes in the sport and regarded as one of the most hardcore and intense athletes. I was seen as an extreme alpha male. But what no one knew was that this entire time, I was carrying a huge burden that was tearing me apart from the inside. I was transgender. I had known this since I was a small child, only five or six years old. But even at that young age, I was terrified of what might happen if I told anyone how I felt. In high school, I'd be sitting in my football uniform, looking at the cheerleaders and wondering what it was like to be them. I barely dated because I didn't know how to be the man that these girls wanted. The more success I achieved, the more difficult coming out felt. I felt like I'd been put on a pedestal, but no one knew how close I was to completely breaking down. I finally reached a point where I couldn't live that lie any longer. I started coming out and it was super difficult. At first it was just my close family and friends. I told my three sons when they were very young as honesty and openness was always very important to me. But I still kept it a secret from the fans and many of my sponsors. I was afraid that my boys would face a lot of difficulty in school, maybe from their teachers or their coaches or their peers if everyone found out who I really was. But in 2015, that option would be taken away from me. I was outed by a YouTube video, and overnight, my life was turned upside down. But I thought, if my story is going to be told, I want to be the one to tell it. I started doing interviews on radio, TV, and podcasts. I saw in these dark clouds a silver lining. I was finally able to get into activism and start speaking at colleges and universities like I had wanted to for so long, and realized that being an open and honest about myself, I could help other people deal with the struggles in their own lives. It's my hope that by sharing my story, I can help inspire people and educate those who don't understand.